Hi everyone, this is Lentia, your lenticular expert on YouTube. In this video, I will show you a simple way to create a 3 image flip lenticular print interlaced image. If you haven't watched the more comprehensive video on the 2 image flip, please watch it first. In that video, my brother Lenti explained everything in much more detail. In this video, I assume you know how to do a pitch test, and you know how to laminate the lens onto the interlaced image. I further assume that through the pitch test our 20 LPI lens is in fact 20.12 LPI. If we want to do a 3 image flip, then under each lenticule we will need to have 3 images. If we want to have 18 pixels under each lenticule then each image will take up 6 pixels, right? For this reason, we will need to set the resolution of our source image to 18 by 20.12 equals 362.16. If your pitch test result is different from ours, just replace 20.12 with your result and use it later. Let's get into the detail steps now. Let's load the three images you want to flip into Photoshop. I have three pictures of Crouton, the cutest corgi in the world. First, copy and paste the second and third images on top of the first one. For the sake of explanation I will rename them as layer 1, 2, and 3. Set the print size, say 8 by 10, and set the resolution to 362.16. Create an 18 by 18 pixel new image for making masks. Fill the first 6 pixels black, select all, and define this as a pattern. Back to our source images, select the layer for the second image, create a mask, and fill the mask with the pattern we just created. Go back to the 18 by 18 image, fill in the other 6 pixels in the middle as black, select all and define this as a new pattern. Back to our source images, select the layer for the third image, create a mask, and fill the mask with the second pattern we just created. There you go, the interlaced image for the 3 image flip has been created. Isn't that very easy? That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful please press the like subscribe, and notification buttons. Leave us a message if you have questions. See you next time.